Okay, then in 2010, you showed up in Machete. Yeah. So who, Robert made that? No. Yes. Yeah, Robert made that, yeah. With uh, Danny Trejo. <laughs> Danny Trejo, who I interviewed not too long ago. Yeah, he's a good guy. Uh, well, he was, yeah. yeah, Machete was good. Yeah, I mean, Danny's sort of a very interesting character because he he didn't start out as an actor at all. He was um, a, a, ga a gang member at one point. No, you know? we, we, I don't know if he was a gang member. But he was he, gang affiliated. Yeah, gang affiliated. <laughs> yeah. Gang adjacent, I think. Ga gang adjacent, yeah. yeah, and, yeah but, I mean, he no, knew, he, he knew he some was, of the uh, major guys in the Mexican mafia, and we talked about all this, you know. We actually went into a whole story in our interview about how, uh, uh, you know, remember the movie American Me? Yeah. He talked about how 10 people got killed over that movie because of the the rape scene, you oh, know, yeah. of the Mexican mafia leader. And yeah, then like yeah. they they lost it. And from what I understand, some of the people featured in that movie, like I think like the, got killed was, because of them being in that movie. Four out here and about I think six in prison. Six people got killed over American Me. Yeah, probably about yeah, just being eight. part of it. Yeah. But and uh it was funny because I remember Donald Garcia, another Mexican mafia but that got out and turned Christian just straight out said you know they were they were talking about no 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 and he go yeah that falls on you Eddie you know so okay so you, so you, you, you've got to be the power of cinema you got to be really careful yeah you know wait a minute and I don't mean you know, am I offending some am I no you just got to be real careful about telling the truth okay the leader of the Mexican mafia was never raped. Do yeah, you remember yeah. that whole story? I, yeah, I remember hearing that story. I don't know how much of it is truth or not. Mm. <laughs> but fair enough. But there was, you know, stuff going. Mm. Danny, Danny did uh, a fair time in, in in prison. Yeah, he he was he was a drug addict, and and mm -hmm. and to to get drugs, he he became an armed robber. Uh, him and his and his cousin, they used to rob, rob white front stores. Mm. They're like. Uh, What's the, what's the comparison today? White front, it was like they sell appliances, you know, mm. washing machines, refrigerators, dryers, all that stuff. And, and uh, he and, and they were all the same, exactly the same. So he they right. knew how how they were, you know, what was open, what doors they could go out. They used to, and so the cops finally figured it out. that we got some guys walking knocking over white front stores. We'll just wait at the next white front stores for them to show up, and they did. <laughs> Danny and, and his cousin, and then they say, we got a new room for you. I mean, it was a very over-the-top. I mean, it wasn't really a comedy, but it definitely was very funny. Yeah, it was really, kind of like yeah. a gory comedy takeoff of slash and gore films. I, I mean, what was different about making this film than your other ones? Because it was very different from your other films. The, Machete was, the first 10 minutes of that film was the funniest and goriest movie that I'd ever seen. Man. Right. You were laughing and, oh, God, you know, at the same time. But it was like, I, I'd, never, I'd never seen that combination. And Robert could do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, that was, it just shows the, the flexibility of a Rodriguez to mm -hmm. do all, you know, you could do a Spy Kids, you could do a Machete, which is like one has nothing to do with the other, but they both work. Yeah, both. You know, I had at that when he before he did Spy Kids, I had this uh, 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 children's album I, I I made and and I made a couple of them, and uh, called Cheese the Bus Driver, and mm -hmm. uh, and it was a big hit. That was uh, had the number one children's title or tune of of the year, uh, and 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 they wanted to make a movie out of it. So they came to me and they said, "We'd like. I think there's a movie here. Is, a, who, is there anybody you'd like to direct this?" So I said, "Robert Rodriguez would be good." And they looked at me like, "Are you out of your mind? Is, <laughs> he's all blood and guts and you know, you know, decapitations and was splurting and everything." And I said, "No, no, he's got this other whole side that you don't even know about." I said, "Well, kids, movie because the first thing he ever showed me, he, he came when I first met. I invited him out to spend the weekend. He and his wife Elizabeth spend the weekend out at the beach with with us and and." Uh, and and he showed me this movie he made when he was a student called Bedhead, mm. and it, and it was uh, uh, he made it with his brothers and sisters because he's got you know there's ten of them, uh, ten, five brothers and five sisters and the, and 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 it, and, he, and it was and it was Spy Kids, 
it was exactly the the, the meter of spike sp- spike heads, and it was funny, and it, and he did it all by himself. And I, and I said, no, he's got this other side that you know. Nah, 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 nah. So when spike kids came out, <laughs> so uh, I can't get him now. He's too expensive. <laughs>